guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, today I'll be showing you guys a Vietnamese dish that was originated from uh, northern Vietnam but it has been very popular from the south of Vietnam in recent years. It's called grilled pork and spring roll or is known as bún chả và nem rang in Vietnamese. I know there's many many recipes to make spring roll. Um, there's Chinese egg roll, vegetarian spring roll, there's northern Vietnamese and southern Vietnamese um, spring roll. So today we'll be making a northern Vietnamese dish. As per usual, please check out the description box for more details of ingredients. Now let's get cooking! We will start with marinating the pork. First, I have left my pork belly in a freezer for about 30 minutes now. I find it's easier to slice the pork belly when it's a bit frozen, so you can slice it thinly but it still keep the pork bellies in its shapes. In a mixing bowl, mix 2 tablespoons of fish sauce, a tablespoon of honey, half a teaspoon of 5 spice powder, half a teaspoon of chicken powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of finely chopped red onion or the white stalk of spring onion, half a teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Then combine all the ingredients together. If you want your pork belly to have a bit of a colour, add a tiny bit of cooking caramel, then set it aside and leave it marinade for about 30 minutes. Next, we'll prepare the filling for our spring rolls. Soak the mung bean vermicelli in lukewarm water and the black fungus in hot water for about 10 minutes and then chop it finely. In a large mixing bowl, add 500 grams of pork mince, vermicelli, black fungus, shredded carrot, and bean sprout. I also added 1 tablespoon of finely chopped onion, some spring onion, 1 teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of chicken powder, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of sugar, and 3 tablespoons of fish sauce. I also cracked two eggs and combined everything well together, then leave it marinade for about 15 minutes. The next step is to make the spring roll. I use a small size of rice paper to make spring roll. Quickly dip the rice paper into water. Then put some of the pork mince we marinated earlier in the center of the rice paper but towards the bottom and fold it like an envelope. But don't put too much as it won't cook through when you fry them. The northern spring roll usually have a square or rectangle shape so I kind of gently fold it towards instead of rolling them. Be careful not to break the rice paper otherwise the oil will splash everywhere when you fry them. Now let's cook our food. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees while the oven is warming up, we'll make a dipping sauce. The recipe is pretty easy. One cup of water, a quarter cup of fish sauce, a quarter cup of white vinegar, and half a cup of sugar. Adjust the amount of sugar and vinegar to your tasting, but I found this portion suit my taste. Stir it well until all the sugar dissolves and keep it warm on the stove until serving. For the pickle, shred some carrot and green papaya if you have it. Mix with 2 tablespoons of sugar and 1 tablespoon of white vinegar and leave it there for 10 minutes. Bún chả is usually served with some rice noodles, so cook the noodles as per instruction on the package, then drain it well and ready for serving. I grill my pork belly in the oven, though I prefer the charcoal grill, but I don't have a hibachi and I can't be bothered putting on the barbecue, so I'm just going to use my oven. 
Spread the pork belly out on an oven tray and grill them for about 20 minutes. Remember to turn them halfway through cooking time. If your pork belly has less fat, you should cook it in less time, otherwise the meat will get really dry. While the pork is in the oven, time to fry those spring rolls. Fry the spring roll in hot oil on medium heat. It takes about 3 minutes on each side and remember not to overcrowd your pan with too many spring rolls at a time. By now, the pork belly is cooked. It will have a nice golden brown with a bit of char grill and it smells delicious. Now let's put the dish together. This dish is usually served with some lettuce, coriander, cucumber and a few of Vietnamese herbs. The warm dipping sauce won't be served on the side but instead will be poured directly onto the grilled pork. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoy our videos today. Please hit like and subscribe to follow us. Also check out other videos on our channel for more interesting recipes. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.